Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 27th of 2022. Well, it is titled South of Orion. So what do we see here? Well, this is the region south of Orion in the sky, as you might guess from the title. And we are still looking at part of the star forming region uh, close to the Orion Nebula. And we see here a one of the things that we look at primarily down towards the bottom and a little to the right is the bright nebula that kind of stands out right in the middle of all the red. And that's an example of a reflection nebula. And it's known by the uh, catalog designation of NGC 1999. And it reflection nebula occurs when uh, the light from a star then reflects off of dust around it. So it's dust that's a little bit less dense, and it scatters the light from the star. The dust is very good at scattering uh, short wavelengths, blue light, and not so good at scattering red wavelengths. So the nebula therefore appears blue. And we see that there and it has that dark knot almost a T shape at the center lying on its side. Uh, that is also part of that nebula. Now, as we look at this, and as astronomers have studied it, what is that dark knot? Well, it might be thought to be a dark dust cloud blocking out the light from behind, which is often what we see in many places. But in this case, we can study it in different ways and studying it in the infrared, the very long infrared wavelengths are better able to penetrate dust and tell us instead that this is actually kind of a hole being blown through the nebula, eating out the weaker portions by the uh, by the very young stars that have formed within it. So those stars put out a lot of energy and are clearing out part of that nebula. And that's what we're beginning to see here. Now, one of the other things present here are what is known as Herbig Aro objects, which are regions of gas that have been excited by jets from young stars. So they're very much associated with star formation. And as stars begin to form, they go through this period. Now we see a couple of those just below and to the right of our uh, reflection nebula that we saw. And those are known as HH1 and HH2. And we can see all the knots within them uh, down there below and to the right. We can also see what is known as the waterfall nebula, another example of a Herbig Aro object up to the very up right hand corner of the nebula, where it almost seems like the gas is flowing like a waterfall off uh, off the edge here. So a number of these and again, they are associated with star formation and jets from young stars, which are generally hidden within the dust. So the star itself is hidden. But the effects of the jets of material spiraling out as it forms at uh, pushing out at very, very high speeds, many hundreds of kilometers every second. So moving very fast can energize the gases around it and cause them to glow with the the shock waves that we see. So that was our picture of the day for January 27th of 2022. It was titled South of Orion. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be the Western Eastern Sea. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.